This is my boiler jacket. I got it all stripped down and the metal ready for paint. Here's the cab. Still stripping the paint off the cab. Got most of the roof done. Look at all the front and the sides of the Anyway, we'll go around the rail here. I just put a mile post up. Here's one. It's actually every hundred feet. So there's one. Little squirrel there. I guess they're not really mile posts, they're more like foot posts every hundred feet. So here comes three. There's Raven Junction. Still working the landfill. It's getting better. I've got to go up about a foot and a half now. Instead of two feet or three feet. And i got to fill this into the bridge. That was mile post four back there. Right here, I'm going to go to double track, and here's the siding. I'm going to have to cut another hole in the tree here to get the siding through. But here's the main, and we're coming up on mile post five. Here's the five here, and that's the main. Here's the siding. I need to cut this other track in through the tree. I'll just keep cutting the hole over until both tracks fit through there and I got Quail Valley this is the main line through Quail Valley I got it all built up and it's all uh, pretty pretty well leveled all the way here from uh, mile post 5 there come out of here The end of the Quail Valley siding. Coming up on Lone Pine, mile post six. This is the, the reverse track. I'm gonna still, still have to grade that one pretty good. I haven't really started that yet. But, uh, and I only work in the morning and the evening on this. It gets too hot in the middle of the day right now to do this. But Anyway, the place is taking shape. I got cuts going and filled in all the way around now on the railroad. We're ready for uh, ties and ballast. Here's mile post 7. And if we look back here. Starting to actually look like a railroad. And cutting through here. And some of this I had to cut right through some talc, some solid rock. And then right here the grading got real heavy duty. I had to move all these big boulders out of the way. Uh, and then make road bed through there where I took the rocks out so the train can get through there. And all the Running gear will pass by the rocks. We've got landfill all the way here to Juniper. If you look back, this, this spurs down low. But I got the track up above. Pretty well leveled through here. All the way down. So we're. This is Juniper. And mile post 8. And pretty much ended right here with my road bed. But I still have these other cuts, and this is fairly well graded already. This is about where the track's going to be. This is Mountain View. Track going straight, goes to the turntable. 
And coming around this curve, it comes mile post nine. Here's a nine right here. This all got moved over. The track used to be against that tree up there. Now it's out, way out here where it can make a nice sweeping curve. It's really 52 foot radius everywhere. And you come up here, this is mile post zero. It's actually about 980 feet. This is a summit. Summit switch. Here's mile post zero. And really we'll just have zero on the main line there. And I guess we'll call mile post 10 going up the mountain division. And it'll be 10, 11, 12, and so on going up the mountain. Uh, that's about it for right now. Bridge is in place, but it's just sitting on wood, so it's kind of sinking in the ground. You gotta put cement footings. There's no way around it. But these uh, green eye beams are 25 feet long, and then this this one here is uh, 14 feet long. Eventually, we'll have uh, my old SP signals. I'll have them tied into the track so we have real signals in the certain locations. And I've been doing more, uh, some more ballast work too, actually building up the track I have existing already. And we're back at mile post one. And go out here, take a look over the railroad. That's looking up toward Juniper. Now you come around, it goes all the way down, way down. The white sign there in the middle is Lone Pine. And starting to take shape.